New this evening, an Evans family mourning the loss of their four-year-old daughter. Chris and Pamela Fuller, they are now raising their three sons without a sister after they say their daughter Addison died yesterday. Prayers is, is, is really all we really need. Like, we just, we're trying our best to hold on. You know, it's, it's just four years she had. She just had four years. She was in the hospital after having a second abdominal surgery. At some point, they say Addison tested positive for COVID the day before her death. Before going in for surgery, she had tested negative. Her family does not know when or how she got COVID, and they say that could have happened before she went to the hospital. They do say her post-op evaluation showed the surgery went well. We've reached out to AU Medical Center two hours ago to learn more about what happened. We're working to learn more about the loss and the circumstances around it. Addison's family says they're trying to put together the pieces for themselves as well. And the Richmond County Sheriff's Office is looking for this man wanted for public indecency. Deputies say 38-year-old Darius Lester was involved in an alleged act incident that happened on August 21st near the Circle K on Tobacco Road. If you have any information, you're asked to call the Richmond County Sheriff's Office. Meanwhile, the Delta variant is spreading across the country, and some COVID hotspots are seeing record hospital numbers. As Deborah Alferoni reports, there are 10 times as many new cases now than there were earlier this summer. In COVID-19 hotspots around the nation, the summer surge is not showing signs of letting up. Our situation is dire. We are setting case records. We have a record number of Kentuckians in the hospital battling COVID, in the ICU battling for their lives. The highly contagious Delta variant continues to fuel the surge, while only just over half of Americans are fully vaccinated. According to a CDC report released last week, COVID hospitalization rates for teenagers and children rose nearly five times from the end of June to mid-August. You'll get more children infected. In fact, when they get infected, just on a pure basis of the relative number of people that will actually get into the hospital, you're going to wind up seeing more children in the hospital. And Dr. Anthony Fauci says the Biden administration may still meet its September 20th timeline of offering COVID booster shots. But the infectious diseases expert at the National Institutes of Health adds that the Moderna shot could see approval a bit later. The bottom line is very likely at least part of the plan will be implemented, but ultimately the entire plan will be. Despite the unrelenting pandemic, millions of Americans are traveling this Labor Day weekend. This California resident is visiting Las Vegas. Wearing your mask, protecting yourself, cleaning your hands, it's all you can do because you never know. The CDC recommended that unvaccinated Americans not travel on the holiday weekend. Deborah Alferone, CBS News, Washington. Dr. Fauci says health officials are studying whether booster vaccines can be mixed and matched with the first Pfizer or Moderna doses people have received. Slide is continuing.